Hello, I'm James Smith in Las Vegas at Camp Mayweather as Floyd readies himself for May the 4th against Robert Guerrero from the MGM Grand. As always, a lot of hard work and dedication going on around here. The champ fit, poised, and ready to go. 17-year professional career, 36 years of age. You're not, you're not that old, though, because you actually were born on the year I graduated from high school. But you, you say that you're still hungry. You're still motivated. You still have things to prove. What motivates you and what do you have to prove, Floyd? Just, you know, uh, just putting them that extra stamp on my legacy. You know, six more fights, 30 months. I'm going to be active. I'm, I want to stay active. I want to stay busy. And um, I want to continue to go out there to get the fans excitement. I want to get the fans what they really want to see. I'm glad you said that because, you know, with all you, you're already going into the Hall of Fame. You've made a ton of money. So it is about the L word right now. It should be, anyway, a legacy. Oh, uh, yes, always about the legacy. Always about the legacy. I want my name to live on. A hundred years from now, I still want people to talk about, you know, the Mayweather name, the Mayweather brand. And um, what else can I say, man? The media has done a tremendous job, a tremendous job. You know, supporting me over the years, uh, different uh, websites, uh, and what else can I say? The news. Everybody has done a tremendous job, and I'm and I'm happy. Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. Hard work, dedication. Seventeen years, champion of the world, undefeated. That's why. That's why. He's working hard, man. He never tired. Never Why would I be? <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about your dad's in the corner, of course. Roger's going to be there. What are the differences, if any, with the, with the way these guys train or work the corners? Are there any philosophical differences between your dad and your uncle? Well, it's obvious uh, both don't get the credit that they're due because they both my dad and my uncle like to talk trash also so of course it runs in the family bloodline but um my dad he's done a he, my dad is doing a tremendous job in this camp roger has done a tremendous job with my career also so you know you can't go wrong no matter who you're working with mayweather's a mayweather uh a mayweather is a mayweather all right let's talk about south Pauls. this will be the fourth one in a decade uh, any differences any nuances anything new we'll see the fact that you'll be facing a guy going the opposite way with the opposite hand um i just i think a couple of fights ago i faced a, a southpaw in um victor ortiz you know he was he, and he tried to get dirty and it was it was a crazy fight but things happened we're past that chapter now we move on to another chapter in terms of uh robert guerrero what do you think of him as a fighter um, I had a chance to see him fight uh, Berto. He went out there and done what he had to do. Now he's my mandatory, and we, we're going to see what he brings to the table come May 4th. You know, when guys get in their mid-30s, a lot of great athletes I've interviewed, fighters, they say that things slow down on the football field, in the boxing ring, in your case. Things slow down, but you slow down. Has the game slowed down, and how do you deal with you if you've slowed down at all? Um, like I said before, I feel like I'm still going strong. And, uh, we don't know if I've slowed down yet. We'll just see come May 4th. We'll see if I'm still the same Floyd Mayweather or if I'm a better Floyd Mayweather. That's what, that's what makes this fight so intriguing. But do you agree with me that you can see things better now than even five and six years ago because of all that experience? It's like when you're in the ring, you see things quicker than you did five years ago. Even though you're not quicker, in my opinion, I think you see things quicker. Well, um... Just a lot of experience. I've been seeing things. Uh, I, I see things from different angles that other fighters probably don't see. So, you know, I, having a sharp eye and, of course, um, being coming from a fight family and being involved in the fight business my whole career. All right, look at that camera. What's going to happen come May the 4th against Robert the Ghost Guerrero? Um, May 4th, I want everybody to tune in. You know, uh, my, I'm facing my mandatory Robert Guerrero. Um, he's a guy that I can't overlook. It's going to be blood, sweat, and tears, excitement. And if you didn't buy a ticket, you got to buy pay-per-view or come out to the Mayweather Mania weekend, May Day, May 4th. And when do I get my rematch, my man? <laughs> do I have to wait until you retire? Don't do me like that. Best of luck. All right, thank you.